So there are a lot of questions being asked right now about what's the future of AI in construction? You know, like what jobs are safe? Uh, when does AI replace a human performing a task? What can AI do right now and what can it do in, in the future? My name is Royce Cousins with Cousins Consulting. I'm also the VP for a startup company called Opulence AI and we're creating AI solutions for the construction industry right now. So, you know, what jobs are safe? I mean, ultimately, I think that's really the big question. You know, um, you know is AI gonna take over the world? Uh, what should I have my kids get into? You know, that kind of stuff. So here's a, a major, I think, insight that I realized. Um, I don't believe that AI will ever be truly creative. I started to kind of notice this as I was looking at articles on LinkedIn. You can kind of see which ones are just kind of AI regurgitated. What AI is really, really good at is being able to take massive amounts of data and consolidate it down lightning fast into what's, you know, what you're looking for, what's really important. And so what people are doing, especially seems like young people are doing is they're basically saying, Hey, this is what I'm, this is what I'm trying to accomplish. And, you know, help me write an article around blah, 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 blah. And AI is going, all right, I'm going to scour the internet, all the stuff that's got, you know, a lot of likes or, you know, a lot of, uh, a, you know, a lot of attention for various reasons, all the best stuff basically. And I'm going to compile it into this, this one little short article for you you know you edit it it's yours great congratulations and you post it now did AI actually create it no it basically took all this information from everything else and what's funny is now we're seeing it over and over almost the same article written over and over and over and over again with different twists and different things but ultimately I feel like it's just regurgitated garbage that AI is doing because I don't believe that AI is truly creative. And when I started to get with some of these other people doing AI, they're kind of seeing the same thing. Now, ultimately what AI is doing is like, it's, it's kind of a reflection of whoever's operating it, just like any tool. So with AI, you know, the big fear is like, okay, it, you know, it's, it's replacing the old. So I've got this pair of scissors here, you know, for, for hair cutting. And the funny thing is, is, when, you know, when the electric clippers came out, now this is a super fancy one, digital LCD screen, you know, re rechargeable, just super fancy. But at the end of the day, no matter how much this can do, you'll never completely replace these. And really the truth is, is that both are just tools to serve the creative person that's actually doing the work. At the end of the day, neither one of those are creative. And I believe that as we continue to see AI grow, we're gonna find out that AI is not truly creative. It's just another amazing tool. And even the old tools aren't gonna to completely go away. They never do, they always have their place. And at the end of the day, where do you fit? You fit where you're creative, where you're telling the tools, this is what I wanna accomplish. So next question, when does AI replace a human performing a task? Well, when does any technology replace a human performing a task? Basically, it's when speed and accuracy exceed human performance. I mean, obviously there's a cost variable too, but generally, you know, cost is the first thing, you know, as technology grows that it's like, all right, you're already, the technology is already cheaper than the human. So that's not really what we're looking at. And as we're talking about AI specifically, it's already got the lightning fast speed. I mean, if you say, this is what I want you to draw, it can draw it so much faster than anything else. You know, it's just, it's incredible. It has the speed. Now really the issue is the accuracy. So where we're at right now is I can sit here and I can say to AI in the construction industry, I can say, okay, I want you to generate uh, this image. Here's an uploaded set of drawings and I want you to give me a rendering based on you know, me standing here and the picture taken at eye level facing this direction and it can do it. It's just gonna make a boatload of mistakes. And so that's basically where we're at right now is we're watching the accuracy. So as accuracy becomes better and better and better, that's when it's going to get closer and closer to replacing a human. So really, you know, that, that kind of is the next question. What can AI do right now? Well, 
It's incredible. There's a lot of stuff that AI can do right now. I mean, I'm currently testing a product that we're working on where I'm just literally push a button on my phone Hello? and I'm having a conversation with it and uh, it's generating a schedule for me. And, you know, shortly we're going to be having it generate budgets and, and all kinds of stuff. And I'm literally just having this conversation. It's asking me questions about the project and all of these different things. Like, you know, obviously we can upload drawings and do all that kind of stuff. And, you know, the goal is that, you know, it's going to be tracking multiple projects, multiple schedules, multiple crews, multiple budgets, you know, all of these different things. And it's able to keep so much more in its mind and memory and focus on, you know, draw out what's important than we as humans can. So, um, the, you know, and so, I mean, imagine we're having this, I'm having this conversation on the way home and this is where our product is going that, you know, I just, you know, push the button and, and it's like, Hey, how's it going? Did, uh, you know, did the framer show up today on, you know, this project over here? I'm like, yeah. Um, uh, you know, no, he didn't show up on this one. Uh, you know, he says he's going to be like three days late and, and, and it's going, well, uh, okay, so that's going to affect these other schedules. Do you want to try to adjust those now or do you want to see if he can make up the time? And, you know, okay, well, he said he's going to work the weekend, so let's see how it goes on Monday. And then on Monday, it ends up reminding you about that. But, you know, and, you know, and, and then it says, you know, that's framer A keeps doing that to you. But, you know, framer B, I know he's, you know, $4 more a square foot, but, you know, you keep spending about $6 more per, uh, per square foot on each house just in pickup framing on Framer A. You know, I, I wonder if it might be a, a better fit. And Framer B doesn't seem to be causing you so much grief. You know, it can just do that analysis lightning fast. And it has all access to all of that information. So, so why not? You know, and even as a project manager, it would take, I can generate the report. I can do that, but I have to think to look for it. But with AI, it can basically have all of these uh, bots basically working in the background to, to draw out the most important and relevant information to you. You know, and then you get done with your conversation and, you, you know, it was asking you questions about who showed up and, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And then, it's, you know, at the end of the conversations, it's like, yeah, your daily logs are sitting in your in your inbox with your safety reports and, and your uh, timesheets. You know, it's like, you know, those are the kind of things that it just takes hours to do all that kind of stuff. And that's where AI really excels. I mean, it just generates exactly what you need in such a short period of time. Um, but where we're at right now is we are trying to keep it in the box because it's making all of these mistakes. And so we're trying to say, here's the lane where you need to be in. And th you know, that's, that's just where it is right now because AI is really in its infancy and it's impressive. But our job is to try to keep it from making mistakes. And so as AI grows, as we're talking about, well, what's the future of AI? Well, ultimately we can make the box bigger and bigger and bigger so that, um, you know, so that it has a little bit more free reign as it makes fewer and fewer and fewer mistakes. So there's a lot that it can do. So here's the question then, you know, what's, what's the future? What will AI be able to do? You know, as I imagine it, it's like, you know, and you're sitting there having a conversation with the AI agent and, and you're dreaming about, well, this is what I want to produce. And you're kind of going back and forth, re refining the design. And eventually, um, you know, you've pulled the trigger and this is what we're doing. And, and it uploads the information to the robots and the robots just sit there and build it. And, you know, the robots don't need, you know, safety harnesses and lanyards and they don't need to take coffee breaks. And, and ultimately, you know, I really think uh, that we don't know what, what the future holds. We don't know what the future of construction is going to look like in AI, but, um, you know, it, it could be like the sky is the limit. And, but, you know, the, the big concern is like, what am I going to do? You know, where am I going to go? What are my kids going to do? What should I have them, you know, be studying and learning? And here's what I, what I think, what it all boils down to. Eventually, it will excel at anything that involves accurately processing the data the way you want it to. It's just another tool. But it'll never truly be creative, in my opinion. So watch it. Let's see if that's the case. In the next few years, I think that's going to tell us a lot. But ultimately, I think that's where we want to position ourselves. And that's where we want to position our kids. It's like, let's get excited about the tool. It, the tool's not going anywhere. It's here to stay. So 
Let's see how we can use it to our benefit. Let's be the person behind it that's actually creative and saying, this is what I want you to accomplish. Ultimately, I think if you're doing that, you're on the right track. AI is amazing. If you've been thinking that it can help you in your business in some way, Opulence is doing custom projects. Drop me an email and let's see how we can help.